Hi, I'm Davey. I'm awesome. And welcome to Davey's Awesome Stories, where I tell funny stories from my past or go on a rant in an effort to make you laugh. Well, as I've told you guys in many, many videos, I work retail. Not only do I work retail now, but I've worked several retail jobs in the past. And as much as I've gone on and on about the customers, sometimes the annoying, weird, strange people at work are the coworkers. Did a video on this once, so now it's time for another installment of Strange Coworkers. First one I'm gonna get into, we'll call the guy Mark. Mark, I hated when he would ask me questions in the break room, because it was always something weird and stupid. Like, at one point, for weeks on end, he was asking me questions about pregnancies and what women are like during pregnancies and stuff like that, basically asking me what to expect while you're expecting, which would have made sense if he had a wife or a girlfriend or something that was pregnant, but he didn't. He was single. No reason for him to be asking all these questions. He was just curious. And wouldn't admit it, but from the questions he was asking me, pretty sure he was a virgin. And he'd ask me these questions, and sometimes I wouldn't know. There'd be some female coworker in there correcting me, or I'd talk about it later with my wife, and she'd correct me. Because I kept telling him, as far as that kind of stuff, I'm not an expert. I know what I know based on the fact that I've had a wife who's had three children. That's really it. But there was one time he didn't ask me anything that had anything to do with pregnancy. Just a simply weird question. At this place, I was basically part of the janitorial staff. Which meant, yes, I had to clean bathrooms. And I've talked about in other videos, when it comes to cleaning bathrooms, more often than not, the women's bathrooms are way more disgusting. This particular day, they were very disgusting. And when I walked into the break room to take my lunch, one of the female co-workers asked me whether or not I had cleaned the women's bathroom yet, because she had seen what it was like before I got in there and cleaned it. And it was horrible. Really gross. Somebody trashed it. For no reason. Which happens. To which Mark looks over at me and goes, Hey, uh, you go into the women's bathroom all the time, right? Yeah. I clean the bathrooms. I kind of have to be in there to do that. What's the girl's bathroom like? And he said it like that, like really creepy-like. And... Maybe I was just a little thrown off by how creepy it sounded, but I also just did not know how to respond to that. So when he asked me, what's it like, only thing I could respond with was, it's like a bathroom. Well, obviously, you would think. But I mean, you know, what's it like? It's like the men's bathroom but minus the urinals and add a couple of stalls. I mean, what's it like being in the woman's bathroom? It's like a magical wonderland with fairies and unicorns. What do you think it's like? It's like a freaking bathroom. I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. It, it's just a bathroom, dude. It's like every other bathroom. Tile floor, tile walls, counter sinks, mirrors around the sinks, soap. Paper towels? Places to poop and pee in? Like, what do you want me to say? Really, the only big difference between a women's bathroom and a men's bathroom is they have little trash cans in the women's bathroom stalls for their feminine products. And the way you're saying it is really creepy. Like, what, you think I get some kind of weird sexual thrill being in there? Like, I'm just sitting there like, Oh, wow, there was vaginas in here. Because I don't. I get no kind of a thrill. Well, maybe just like a sense of, I'm a man in the woman's bathroom. No. No sense like that. I don't feel like I've conquered anything, if that's what you're asking. Like, I don't feel like I've gone to the Greek island of Amazons and conquered it for all mankind. Never once went into the women's bathroom, planted a flag, and declared this bathroom in the name of Spain. I was just asking. Yeah, well, you're freaking weird, dude. The next one... I'm actually going to talk about a strange co-worker that was a female. In the last video, they were all guys. In this one, two of them are guys. But one of them was a female who got herself fired in a very, very odd way. Now, what was strange about this girl, we'll call her Maggie. She was a little bit out there. Like, for example, telling us one day that she called off because she ran out of makeup and wouldn't come to work without her makeup on. But one thing about her, she constantly came into the break room, sat with us sometimes, and would always complain that we don't have a particular break room for smokers. Now, some places do have this. Most places nowadays don't. If you're a smoker, 
you have to go outside. When I was a smoker a long time ago, that's what I had to do everywhere I worked. That I never worked in a place that had a room for smokers. It was always, if you want to smoke, go outside. And what she complained about the most was that it was not fair that not only did she have to walk all the way outside, but it's winter time, it's cold. This particular strange thing ended up getting her fired. In this place, we sold clothes, and on her way outside to go on her breaks, she would grab a jacket off of one of the racks, go outside, have her cigarette, and then come back in and put the jacket back, and was surprised that this got her fired. They eventually noticed, mainly because they would notice that customers would be complaining that this jacket smells like smoke. Now, growing up, I grew up with two parents that smoked a lot. Not to mention, at some point, I smoked for a while. Quit for the final time when I was 25. I'm now 40. So, even I did not get it for a long time when my friends would come around, who obviously didn't have smoking parents, and mention that it smells like smoke in my house, because I didn't smell anything. I was so used to it. Since being 25 years old and being completely away from living in a household with smoke, I now get it. When you get to a point where you're not used to it, when somebody smokes, you can smell it all over them. You can smell it on them. If they have stuff with them, like a bag, you can smell it on the bag. If they give you a gift, you can usually smell it on the gift. That smell gets everywhere. So yeah, when a customer is going up to buy this jacket and they take it off the rack, they're gonna notice this smells like smoke. And the funny thing about Maggie was we found out she was being fired because she made a big scene. Apparently she used the same jacket as often as she could, but eventually somebody would complain that it smells like smoke, they could not sell it that way, and she'd have to use another jacket. They ended up going through three jackets because of this girl. And of course because of this, she gets fired, and she makes a big scene as she's leaving, just yelling off, I'm getting fired because you guys can't learn how to work a washing machine. I hate to break it to you people, but in places where they sell clothes, it's not that simple. They cannot just go throw it in a washing machine and put it back on the rack. Now that's used. A piece of clothing like that gets that contaminated. All they can do is write it off and take the loss. The final one, we'll call him Matt since we're going with M names. This is another guy who got himself fired. Not for anything strange. He got fired for stealing. This was when I worked at a gas station. The strange thing was he wasn't really hiding it. He would act like it was normal. Because there was something he said to basically every one of us in some conversation at one point, or several points. Because at least three times I heard him say, You know they expect you to steal. That's why they pay you so little. And I remember the first time he told me that, I straight up told him, Yeah, I doubt it. I don't think that's why they pay us so little. I think they pay us so little for several reasons. Things like profit margins and whatnot. The fact that it's an entry-level job at a gas station. Because they can. Now here's the thing, because of Matt saying stuff like this, not one of us was ever surprised when he got fired. Not one of us. But I was there the day he was fired. And I will say this, it was funny when I found out later what he was stealing. Because we assumed that he was taking cash. Because believe it or not, everybody who works in retail knows how to steal from the place. It's not difficult to steal, we just don't, because that will get us fired, and maybe put in jail depending on how much we steal. But we never caught him, we never saw it, and we figured when it does happen, he does finally get caught. We figured it was going to be cash, but it wasn't. We figured, okay, maybe he just goes and takes the occasional candy bar off the rack, or maybe goes and gets a soda out of the cooler, which apparently he did once or twice. But the main thing he was stealing was the gas station roller foods. You know, the stuff we put on those little hot rollers? You take them off, things like taquitos and hot dogs or whatever else they've got on there. Little pizza roll things. Thanks to him, we could no longer eat those when they were supposed to be thrown out. Because the way it worked with those was we put them on there, we made a note of what time they went on there, and after a certain point, you know, four or five hours, then of course we were supposed to take them off and put fresh ones on to prevent people from eating a really gross overcooked hot dog. Around the time that it was okay to take them off, they were still good. It's kind of like an expiration date. Believe it or not, most of the foods you see with the expiration dates, it's not gonna expire on that day. That's just a safe enough time to throw it away before it does expire. 
So there was a rule about that, like, okay, if there's leftover, like, taquitos, hot dogs, sausages, whatever, go ahead. Whoever wants them, take them. Who cares? Thanks to him, afterwards it became, no, sorry, throw it away. Because it turned out that that was his big thing. Was at the end of almost every one of his shifts, whether the items had been on there for four to five hours or, like, 20 minutes, he would fake the log sheet so he could take all of them home. That's what got him fired. Then, like I said, occasionally he was taking some things off the shelf, but never money, which later he told somebody that worked there, not me, we weren't close or anything, that that's why they should have just let it go. And of course, they didn't tell us he was going to get fired this day, me and the other two people working, but it was very unusual to have four of us working on a shift, and the fact that not only did the store manager pull him in the back, but the district manager pulled him in the back. We knew what that meant. We knew, okay... He's finally getting fired. So as he's coming out, the store manager says to him, you're not allowed back in here. Are you serious? You needed to be told that? That's what got me in a little bit of trouble. They were like, hey, when we're firing somebody, don't do something like that. But I couldn't help myself but yell out, you, you needed to be told not to come back in here? And by the way, Matt, if you're watching this, I want you to know, I'm still angry you cost me my free taquitos. So there you have it. That's my story video this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit like, hit subscribe, hit that little bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. And leave a comment. Tell me about some strange co-workers you ever dealt with. Love you guys.